Lubuntu 12.04.3 release is now out for downloading, or if you're currently using Ubuntu 12.04, just uh, go through the standard upgrade process and your system will naturally upgrade to the point .3 release. It's been difficult though to find uh, what's actually changed in this release. All I've got here is uh, a load of bugs that have been fixed. Have they been fixed actually? Uh, confirmed, triaged, and um, probably not even been fixed. Ah, some of those have though. Uh, it's yeah, so I'm not entirely sure what's been changed. The best thing I've got though is this uh, virtual machine uh, over here, which I've not upgraded for nearly four months. So that has 219 updates. That's 223 meg of updates I've got to download. But if I was to install the Ubuntu 12.04.3 release from scratch, I wouldn't have to do any of that. That is the difference with getting these uh, newer point releases. I'm using it on my NAS, uh, and it's I think it's improved a little bit over time. It's obviously the NAS is using a server version of the distro, so it's not as complex as this desktop. But from what I've seen of the desktop, it has improved over time. They've uh, Canonical have released uh, some quite nice updates and a lot of stability improvements to it. Now, if you're considering installing Ubuntu for the first time, then 12.04 might not be the best distro to go for. If you're using Windows 8 currently, then certainly don't use that because you can mess up your system. It's a compatibility issue with UEFI Secure Boot BIOSes. There is some reports of it being compatible, but I'm not entirely sure because I do have a UEFI Secure Boot system downstairs and I've tried Ubuntu 12.04 based distros on it before, actually not that long ago. Only a last month I think it was, and they're not working properly. They will sort of work. Not entirely well though. There's mention of a new kernel there, so now we're moving to kernel 3.5. That could be compatible with Secure Boot. Because Ubuntu 12.10, and that's the kernel version it's using from Ubuntu 12.10, that was compatible with Secure Boot UFI. But honestly, if you're using Windows 8, I would take Ubuntu 13.04. If you're using Windows 7, Windows XP, Mac, any of the others, uh, then yeah, Ubuntu 12.04 probably the better choice. The difference between this and 13.04 is that this you don't have to upgrade for until 2014 at the earliest, but actually it's supported right through until 2017. Whereas Ubuntu 13.04 is only supported now until January next year. That's it, three months after the release of the next Ubuntu, so that's October, November, December, January, yes. So only a few months left of that. It's your choice, really. If you're happy to do loads of updates and <laughs> reinstalls, why not? Ubuntu 13.04 is quite a nice distro. So that's how to do the upgrade, just through the update manager. I'll show you on the right hand side of the screen how to do the server version of the update. It's a little bit different. You have to type in the command line sudo apt-get update and then sudo apt-get dist upgrade. And notice there on the server version that I have far fewer updates to do. That's because I keep that more up to date. I don't use this virtual box generally, but I use my NAS, or well, on a day-to-day -day basis, but more like it runs 24-7, that's the difference. Are those errors about it being unbootable? Not true. I don't know why it does that. It's with the MDADM RAID. And I'll show you in a moment that if I reboot, it does work absolutely fine. So my NAS rebooted successfully and I've logged back in. And you can see here we've got Ubuntu 12.04.3. The kernel version I'm running here is different to the system you've seen there in VirtualBox. That's because I've manually upgraded it. And there's no mention of anything else that needs doing. So oh, that's excellent. Well, I finished the updates and rebooted. You can see the new kernel version there. What we can't see though is the actual version number of Ubuntu. It's only reporting 12.04. So you can double check that through the terminal, and that is lsb underscore release dash a. And that tells you there description Ubuntu 12.04.3 LTS. If it doesn't show that, then force a recheck of the updates and try them again. It should work. And if it doesn't, well, 
I'm sure the system's working already, or perhaps there's a further underlying issue with not being able to install packages. Either way, that's not something I'm going to try and sort out in this video. Anyway, that was the announcement of the release that Ubuntu 12.04.3 is available. So thanks for watching, see you later.